the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to this service of Eucharist with prayers for healing to those who are in church and to those who are watching online. We meet in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. Amen. In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known. And through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are healed and brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our confidence and trust in his inexhaustible mercy. A moment as we reflect on all that we need to bring to God this day. God of mercy, Lord of life, you are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. Embrace us with your love. Heal the memories of hurt and failure. Bind up the wounds of past mistakes, and by your forgiveness, make us whole. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, Amen. 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 Grant we beseech you, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Sit for the readings. First reading from the book of Romans. The Spirit himself expressed our plea in a way that could never be put into words. The Spirit comes to help us in our weakness. For when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly, the Spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that could never be put into words. And God, who knows everything in our hearts, knows perfectly well what he means. And that the pleas of the saints expressed by the Spirit are according to the mind of God. We know that by turning everything to their good God, cooperates with all those who love him, with all those that he has called according to his purpose. They are the ones he chose specially. long ago and he tended to become true images of his son so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers he called those he intended for this those he called he justified and with those he justified he shared his glory this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the Son. Lord, I trust in your mercy. Lord, I trust in your mercy. 
Look at me. Answer me. Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I fall asleep in death. Lest my enemies say, I have overcome him. Lest my foes rejoice to see my fall. Lord, I trust in your mercy. As for me, I trust in your merciful love. Let my heart rejoice in your saving help. Let me sing the Lord for his goodness to me. Singing psalms to the name of the Lord, the Most High. Lord, I trust in your mercy. Lord, I trust in your mercy. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Through towns and villages, Jesus went teaching, making his way to Jerusalem. Someone said to him, Sir, will there be only a few saved? He said to them, Try your best to enter by the narrow door. Because I tell you, many will try to enter and will not succeed. Once the master of the house has got up and locked the door, you may find yourself knocking at the door, saying, Lord, open to us. But he will answer, I do not know where you come from. Then you will find yourself saying, we once ate and drank in your company. You taught in our streets. But he will reply, I do not know where you come from. Away from me, all you wicked men. Then there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. When you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves turned outside. Men from east and west, from north and south, will come to take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Yes, there are no, those now last who will be first, and those now first who will be last. This is the gospel of the Lord. We praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. When all the works to this building are completed, there will be a plaque put on the wall alongside those of the great and the good and the not necessarily good. And the words on that plaque will say this, to commemorate all whose lives and stories have not been told here in past centuries including the victims of greed, cruelty, and exploitation. And the words we heard quoted in today's gospel will also appear. The last shall be first, and the first last. It will remind us, that plaque, that many people have passed and will also pass through these doors. People of wealth and influence, people of corruption and manipulation, people of poverty and desperation, worshippers, visitors, tourists, pilgrims, robbers, vandals and nobility. God loves and calls each one. Yet it is the people who others consider the least who will be first in the kingdom of God. Our beautiful building has been taking an awful lot 
of our energy, our concern and our time. But St. Maribyrn is not fundamentally a building. It is people. The motley crew I have alluded to just now, and you and I. All the people who said their prayers here over the years and will do so in the future. When the word which is translated church first appears in the New Testament, in Matthew chapter 16, it is the Greek word ecclesia, which means an assembly, people called out into a congregation. It is where Jesus says to Peter, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my ecclesia and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Over the years since his parish church was built, our ecclesia has had good times and bad. It has experienced conflict, it's been bombed, it's been a beacon of he healing and hope. It's been a place of both rejoicing and sorrow, worship and outreach in a busy, busy part of London. It's had faithful members who cared and prayed and worked. At present, the building that holds our ecclesia is like a patient on an operating table, its body shot through with scaffolding and echoing with the noise of intrusive reconstruction. But so far at least, the gates of hell have not prevailed against it, hallelujah. Perhaps one of the charisms we're learning in this church is that to be vulnerable and weak is to be a very important part of the ecclesia. Healing and wholeness is at the heart of what we do. And the work of healing requires us all to be vulnerable and open to the work of the Spirit. So Paul speaks about this in our first reading. The Spirit comes to help us in our weakness. For when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly, the Spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that could be never put into words. Paul knew the truth of that weakness from his own experience. He began as one of the first on the day of his conversion, he rode out of Jerusalem, proud, self-reliant, priding himself on his pure descent, his rabbinical knowledge, his pharisaical training, his absolute conviction that he was always right. But after his encounter with the risen Christ, he rode into Damascus, struck down, blind, dependent on the care of others, realising that all the things he prided himself on had lost their allure now that he had counted his Messiah. Instead of one of the first, Paul had become one of the last, the least. In Philippians 3, he says this, Yet whatever gains I had, these I've become to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. When our church is finally restored, we must remember that as we seek God's grace to continue as his ecclesia. We will not be tempted by pride, grandeur, or boasting, but we will treasure the small, the humble, the least. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world 
and let us thank God for his goodness. Lord, help us to remember in this competitive and noisy world those words the first shall be last and the last shall be first help us to embody that gospel value in the things that we do and the people we talk to and the things that we say Help us to see Christ in every person. Those we know and like and understand. And those with whom we might feel uncomfortable, who are strange and different to us. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you for the gift of this day. Help us always to treasure our lives and all the gifts that you give us. And today we pray for this church and all the work that is being done, for all those untold stories and forgotten people. And we pray that the work may be completed with success and safety so that we may continue to offer hospitality, healing and hope to all who come here. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the work of the HCC in psychotherapy and assessment. We pray for the healing ministry at our Wednesday and Sunday evening services. Pray too for our doctor's surgery and for the medical and psychological help that gives to so many people. Pray too for our schools, for the team here, may all we do Lord be for your glory, Lord in your mercy. Mm -hmm. We pray for ourselves and also for all we know who need healing and hope, reconciliation, for those who are sick in mind, body or spirit. For those who have no one to pray for them. For those who've asked for our prayers. For Charmaine, Nicola, Carly, Marlett, Julia, Leslie, Christopher, Catherine, Jean, Joan, Alex, Constanza, Jill, Derek, Yvette. For Royston, Graham, Lewis, Leah, Sabina, Felix, Ellen, John, Cicely, Helen, Ian, Eben, Mike, Vadim and Rose. And in a moment's quiet, we bring our own thoughts and prayers for those we name in our hearts now before God. Bless and heal all who suffer in body, mind or spirit and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. We remember those who've died recently, Rex, Mark, Priest, Gabriel,
Colin, Christopher, Diana, Edward, June. For all those we love but see no longer, especially at this time as we come towards the festivals of all saints, all souls and remembrance. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy. And a moment's quiet for our own thoughts and prayers this day. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you stand for the peace? The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy and peace. Dear friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's indicate to one another that we share Christ's peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us upon the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are not many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. prayer of spiritual communion for those who are watching online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Father of light, in whom is no change or shadow of turning. You give us every good and perfect gift and have brought us to birth by your word of truth. May we be a living sign of that kingdom where your whole creation will be made perfect in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Almighty God, we thank, thank you, you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so we come to the moment where we offer the laying on of hands with prayer for healing. And that can be for yourself or on behalf of somebody else. and a prayer for healing for those who are watching online. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. Um. <clears throat> God of all compassion, by the dying and rising of your Christ, you restore us to yourself 
and enfold us in your love. May we who have been refreshed with the bread of life and the cup of salvation be renewed by your healing spirit and made ready for the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God, our Father, by whom we are called to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, and by paths as yet untrodden, give us faith to go out always with good courage, knowing that in the power of your Holy Spirit we are made strong and that your love will never fail us. In the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God.